Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have a very cool model to take a look at as we officially have the second model to release from the Star Ace Toys Wonder Wild series. This is the Concavenator. This was again sent to me by Star Ace Toys, who had sent a pre production model to take a look at for you guys. And I've got to get this model reviewed and sent back to them ASAP so that they can get underway into the production of this fantastic piece but what we have here is another beautiful model this time a concavenator yet again sculpted by sean cooper just like the previous woolly mammoth was unfortunately when this one was on its way to me apparently the postal service decided to play soccer with the box it was insanely damaged when the box had arrived and the uh, dinosaur itself did take some damage as the leg was completely snapped off, and I believe it was actually initially connected to the base. It was snapped off of the base. Unfortunately, again, as far as this model goes, it's pre-production, so they haven't actually created the packaging that the model will be shipped out in when it's finally complete. We don't have any kind of like a really cool box that keeps it nice and safe and protected. This was just kind of sent to me in bubble wrap because, again... Being pre-production, that means they haven't actually gone into the process of creating the actual box to ship it in or anything like that. So unfortunately, it wasn't as well protected as it will be when the official model releases, and therefore the Postal Service decided to break it on me. So I have actually glued the leg back on, but I haven't attached the concavenator to the base quite yet. I will later on in the review, but I didn't attach it back to the base because I wanted to just be able to pick the dinosaur up, take a closer look at it without the base kind of following it around or anything like that. So again, at first glance, I must say that it is absolutely incredible looking, like easily the nicest looking concavenator model that I have ever seen in my entire life. The base is equal is beautiful and we have a really cool nameplate down here obviously stating the name of the species and a little bit of information on it which is also really quite awesome gorgeous looking sculpt and paint scheme for this model so let's go ahead jump straight to a closer look right now so starting up here at the head sculpt of the concavenator you can see that detail wise again being a sean cooper sculpt you know it is loaded to the max with beautiful detailing and you can see that throughout the entire course of the head sculpt of the concavenator just absolutely incredible looking detailing as far as like the skin texture as well as the really nice feather detail leading off of the face Really nicely sculpted out nostrils. You have those really nice kind of crests running up above the top of the head right here. The eyes are sculpted out beautifully and painted very nicely. You can see that it's very nice and carefully painted, given a really nice gloss coat so it shines like real eyes would. The dinosaur has its mouth sculpted in an open position, and you can see the teeth are sculpted really nicely, all sculpted individually. And you can see that the detailing inside the mouth looks very nicely done. You have the tongue sticking up here inside the mouth as the dinosaur is either letting out some sort of a vocalization or chasing down some sort of prey. Considering the kind of dynamic positioning of the dinosaur, I feel like it's probably the chasing down prey thing. But as far as the paintwork goes on the inside of the mouth, the teeth are painted really nicely with kind of like an off-white, very realistically painted. And you have some really nice color variation for the inside of the mouth, including the tongue and the kind of skin flap over here on the side with like some variations of lighter and darker shades of pinks and purples. So it has a very realistic and lifelike appearance overall. And then as far as the coloration here on the face, you could see some really nice varying tones of off-whites and grays included throughout, as well as some really nice darker tones of like dark grays up here, some beautiful orangish browns throughout the face, kind of like raw sienna type color. And you see that up here on the top of the crest on the concavenator as well. As you move into the back of the head, you have like these really cool kind of quills sticking out of the back of the head of the concavenator, which I really, really like. I think that's a very cool appearance for the dinosaur, something I haven't really seen too often portrayed on concavenator, and it looks fantastic on this model. Some really nice feather detail, again, with some variations of lighter and darker shades of like that orangish brown which I think is a really nice natural color and it overall looks beautiful on the model itself really makes the coloration of the dinosaur jump out at you stand out and just look pretty flashy but in a very nice natural way you can also see like some hanging skin here kind of on the underside of the throat which looks really neat and that you also have some really nice scale detail here in the throat area 
as you lead down here into the lower part of the neck where it connects to the body you see some more of that really nice feather detail as well as like some of those kind of lighter browns and off whites and stuff throughout the lower part of the feather detail before it transitions to that orangish brown up at the top of the dinosaur we do have some scaly areas of the dinosaur as well as you can see the scale detail like the skin texture and stuff pick back up here in the stomach region which looks really cool. The arms are held into the body in a very nice natural way. You can see some more of those feathers leading off of the back of the arm as well as some more of those quills similar to what we had seen up there on the top of the head. And you also see some really nice structure in general to the arm sculpt right here leading down into the hands. The hands look beautiful, really nicely sculpted beautiful scoots down the course of the fingers and you have some really nicely painted nails which is something that I would expect no less when it comes to a Star Ace Models figure and you can see again some really nice color variation throughout the stomach region as well. Coming back up here we get to that kind of trademark concavenator hump on the back of the dinosaur and you can see that we also have quills that run along that area which I like how they start out with like a dark gray or a dark black but then transition to that orangish brown and then transition again to kind of like some white tips. Really, really nice looking paintwork. And you can also see some other quills kind of coming up here out of the side of the dinosaur, which looks really neat. Tons and tons of feather detail throughout, almost emu-like feathering to the concavenator. As you can see, it's just really scruffy feathers. It's a little bit finer up here, but once you get down here into the hip region, you can see that the feather detail is super scruffy looking and just kind of all over the place, which I absolutely love how wild the feather detail looks on the model as you lead down here into the leg you can see some really nice muscle definition to the thigh and calf region but the calf does include some really nice feathers down there i love how the feathers kind of disappear here as you lead down into the thigh but then pick back up in the calf region you can pick up on the kneecap as well as some beautiful scale detail leading down into the leg and then as you lead down into the foot that foot sculpt is super, super bird-like, really nicely sculpted with some scoots down the course of the toes. It honestly almost looks exactly like what I would expect on like an emu or something like that. Really nicely sculpted out foot and beautifully painted nails yet again. The dinosaur is completely coated with a really nice dark wash as well so that all of the detail pops in a very realistic way. As you lead back up here into the body, you have some really nice detailing here on the underside. Lots of creasing and stuff going on. You can see how the skin is stretching off of the tail there as the leg is pulling forward quite drastically. And as you continue to lead out the length of the tail, you get this really nice striping effect that picks up, but you only see that on the skin, whereas the feathers here that kind of run out the course of the tail look really nice. And we have the variations of like off-whites, light browns, and orangish browns, as well as more of those quills running along the top of the tail until we get out here to this area. And then it transitions entirely to a scaly look for the tail. And actually, it's so fine, you almost don't even see the scales on it, but you have a beautiful, majestic-looking curve to the end of the tail and again that striping continues which really creates kind of a flashy appearance for the tail and then looking at the opposing side of the dinosaur the head sculpt looks really nice just like we had seen on the previous side over here again the beautiful sculpt in detail beautiful coloration really nicely painted eyes we get to that wild crazy looking area with all of those quills up here on the top of the head which is super cool looking again that kind of hanging skin here in the neck region the dinosaur has its head turned a bit to the right so you can kind of see how the skin is stretching right here pulling on the neck skin here as the dinosaur is turning its head in that position again so many really nice variations of like lighter yellowish browns and orangish browns throughout look super super nice on the model as you lead down into the body again you can see more really nice color variation as well as some beautiful feather detail throughout again so many different varying sizes of the feathers really giving off that very nice emu like look to the way the feathers are sculpted and then the arm over here is yet again held into the body in a very nice natural way just like we had seen on the previous side you can see those beautiful feathers leading off of the arm as well as those really flashy quills yet again you have the beautiful hand sculpt just like we had seen on the previous side with those scoots down the course of the fingers nicely painted nails and you also have a little area of feathering right here in the chest region which kind of hangs off of the chest that looks really cool and then as we lead back here into the stomach, you can see some really nice scale detail and everything in the stomach region, as well as some nice skin folds and skin wrinkles and stuff right there. You can also see some beautiful muscle definition here in the thigh. Yet again, 
We have those really crazy wild feathers up here on the hip region leading up into those humps on the back of the concavenator with those really cool looking quills just like we had seen on the previous side. And we lead down into the foot this side. The foot is lifted up off of the ground obviously showing that really cool running movement for the concavenator. Yet again a super bird like looking foot sculpt with really nicely sculpted out detail and beautifully sculpted and painted nails. Really nice like creases and stuff within showing the movement of that leg lifting up as well as some of the feathers leading off of the back of the leg. And then we lead back up into the tail here. Again, some nice detailing here with like creasing and wrinkling of the skin leading into the tail. And we lead out into that tail with the beautiful feather detail that again diminishes as we reach the end of the tail with that really cool curve. And then we also have some beautiful detailing throughout the underside of the concavenator as well. Just an absolutely incredible interpretation of a concavenator. And then we've got the really cool nameplate. And uh, of course you can see the information that that sports has a really nice soft appearance to the back as well, which is really cool. Again, nice addition to the set. Then you have the base itself, which you can see the footprint for the concavenator on where it was kind of snapped off thanks to the postal service. And you can see a beautiful fallen tree that has run across the area that the concavenator is running along. You can also see like some nice mossy type of a, uh, vegetation that runs along the course of the base as well as a beautiful earthy and rocky type of an area where this dinosaur is running through giving a very jungle like feeling to this base beautiful paintwork throughout as well as some really cool very small footprints that you can pick up on here and there which I really like because I think that adds another element of realism that often is neglected on most prehistoric models because this dinosaur would most likely be you know running through an area where he knows there's other dinosaurs to try to find prey so odds are you would probably see some other footprints and stuff like that so I really like that addition to the base really nice paintwork really nice sculpt and detail just a fantastic base to really create the scene for this concavenator running through and just up the overall beauty of this set and then you also have this base that everything sits on which is just a really nice wooden base nothing super amazing or anything but really nicely done when it comes to adding that really high quality element to the model so an absolutely awesome model yet again from star ace and now that the entire thing has been put together in the nameplate here front and center the entire thing is complete and just looks honestly unbelievable i love the overall appearance to this model i love the base the really cool wooden base underneath the earthy area as well as the nameplate everything about this of course the concavenator is the main event here as far as this entire thing goes but boy is that just one of the most beautiful dioramas i've ever seen as far as a size goes for a height you were looking at about 10 inches or about the 25 and a half centimeter range and for a length about the 11 and a half or 29 centimeter range for a size comparison. We have Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line in comparison to our fantastic Star Ace Wonder Wild Concavenator. And you can see again how nicely sized that is, especially with that tail height. You can see that it really heads up there into the height department and also really nicely outsizes the Papo Rex, who is quite the large figure. But Hopefully these figures in comparison can show you that the model isn't extremely huge, but sports a very impressive size overall. So this Star Ace Toys Wonder Wild series, Concavenator is just drop dead gorgeous. One of the flashiest, most beautiful looking dinosaur models that I have ever seen in my entire life. This Concavenator is just so insanely cool with the way that it has been sculpted out, having those kind of like quills sticking out of the back, the really beautiful feather detail all throughout, the incredibly cool dynamic pose with it running along, as well as the really nice coloration for the model. It honestly is unquestionably one of the most striking dinosaur models that I have ever had the pleasure of checking out here in person and on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. It is just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. The sculpt is extremely highly detailed. Again, being sculpted by Sean Cooper, you are getting a very, very good sculpt. You always do when it comes to Sean Cooper. He's one of the leading paleo artists out there, and this is a great example as to why he is considered that, because this thing is just sculpted to the absolute max as far as the detail goes, but also just in general the really cool positioning and the beautiful feather 
detail everything about this is just absolutely amazing the detail is also extremely vibrant and really pops on the model which is something that sometimes you'll get a model and the detail looks you know all right it look, it's okay but it's not often that you get a model that looks this vibrant detail wise like it is very impressive looking especially the feather detail like it just looks really really good and the paintwork that has been applied to it thanks to star ace as well really does the sculpt justice because they've given it like a really nice dark wash so every one of the feathers throughout as well as every one of the scales throughout really pops in a beautiful and realistic way on this model like it looks super nice because all of the detail is elaborated so perfectly with the use of the dark wash that they've applied it just pops so nicely on top of having really vibrant detail the actual wash used helps the model to stand out even further when it comes to the detailing aspect and i love the coloration that they've chosen for the concavenator really gorgeous looking tones of color lots of variation of color as well making it look really nice and lifelike and i think that the tones chosen are perfect absolutely perfect for this type of dinosaur as well as just the kind of flashiness with the way that they've sculpted out like those quills and the really nice feather detail and then the tones chosen it's just perfect for this appearance of this dinosaur i love the paint scheme and the actual paint application for this concavenator i love the positioning of the body as well as it's just kind of running along through the jungle it seems kind of crouching potentially taking down some sort of prey it's a really cool dynamic pose that looks great on the model something that i think is a beautiful positioning that i haven't seen used too many times on dinosaur models so it also kind of gives it a fresh feel overall and uh, just a really nice majestic look for a dinosaur that often is portrayed as being a you know mean vicious animal this really shows the beauty i think of the concavenator so star ace gets kudos and of course sean cooper gets kudos for that as well the base itself is beautifully done showing a nice kind of forested area where the dinosaur has been running through and you can see like footprints of other dinosaurs and stuff throughout really expertly painted as well as you can see like mossy areas really nice earthy areas and just overall a fantastic paint job that in my opinion complements the concavenator and really completes the scene here of the concavenator kind of running through the forest hunting for prey and then on top of that you have the really cool wooden base underneath as well as that really nice looking nameplate completing the overall high quality feel of the entire product so this i believe is the second release coming from the wonder wild series and this one as well is currently up for pre-order so make sure if you are interested you head to the link in the description and go pre-order this fantastic concavenator i do believe that these star ace models are usually kind of limited so if you don't go ahead and pre-order it now you may end up missing out on it and with a model this nice i would really hate to see anybody that's interested miss out on it because it definitely deserves a place in any collection so if you are interested again check the link in the description go pre-order this fantastic incavenator right now and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching